I'm better than a 20 year old for health. I think a lot of that's due to my new diet that I've adopted because I can just see things getting better and better over time. Meet Dr. David Sinclair, a distinguished professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and co-director of the Paul F. Glenn Center for Biology of Aging Research. With a PhD from the University of New South Wales and dozens of groundbreaking papers in the field of genetics and aging, Dr. Sinclair isn't just studying the aging process. He's rewriting the rules. From 2013 to 2023, he got 30 years younger. How did he do that? We went through a lot of his papers and interviews to find everything you need to know about reverse aging and staying forever young. We will talk about five things. One, exercises he does. Two, intermittent fasting. Three, foods he eat. Four, supplements he takes. Five, foods he avoids at all cost. We begin with a cornerstone of his anti-aging strategy, exercise. His principle is straightforward but intense. Exercise to the point where you can no longer hold a conversation. This isn't merely about building stamina. It's about inducing a state of hypoxia, low oxygen, which signals your body to bolster its cellular defenses. This kind of physical stress, according to Sinclair, not only enhances muscle and blood flow, but also activates key mechanisms that slow aging and boost overall vitality. Moving from the gym to the kitchen, Dr. Sinclair's dietary approach is as meticulously planned as his workouts. It's not just about what you eat, but when and how you eat that can turn the aging process on its head. One of his key strategies, intermittent fasting. Dr. Sinclair narrows his eating window to just about six hours a day, which, according to his research, can drastically reduce the signs of aging by limiting calorie intake and increasing the duration of fasting periods. Why does this matter? Dr. Sinclair explains that our bodies aren't designed to be constantly fed. Traditional eating patterns of three meals a day plus snacks might be doing more harm than good by keeping our bodies in a perpetual state of digestion and fat storage. By compressing his eating window, he enhances his body's ability to enter a state of autophagy, where cells rejuvenate and repair themselves, and increases the production of sirtuins, proteins known to regulate cellular health and aging. But intermittent fasting is just the beginning. What Dr. Sinclair eats during those six hours is equally critical. His diet focuses on what he calls stress foods, plants that have experienced some form of stress like drought or nutrient scarcity. These plants, he argues, produce high levels of polyphenols, natural compounds that can significantly boost our health and longevity. Dr. Sinclair's plant-based meals are rich in colorful, nutrient-dense foods that are not only low in calories, but high in compounds beneficial for aging bodies. He frequently includes foods like leafy greens, nuts, and legumes, which are all part of his strategy to activate the body's defenses against aging and disease. This isn't just about eating healthily, but eating smartly, choosing foods that tell our bodies to fortify themselves against the trials of time. Dr. Sinclair carefully selects fruits that are low in sugar but high in nutrients, crucial for maintaining health without accelerating aging. Among his top choices are avocados, which are rich in healthy fats and oleic acid, known to activate longevity pathways. Avocados are a staple in his diet, not just for their nutrient density, but also for their ability to promote heart health and reduce inflammation. He also emphasizes the importance of cantaloupe, or rock melon, praised for its low sugar content and high levels of hydration and essential vitamins, making it an excellent choice for maintaining hydration and nutrient intake without spiking blood sugar levels. Lastly, colorful berries like blueberries and blackberries make the list due to their high polyphenol content. These fruits are not only delicious, but also potent in antioxidants that support cellular health and longevity. Their vibrant colors and stress-induced nutrients are exactly what Dr. Sinclair seeks in food that benefits long-term health. Alongside his rigorous diet and exercise regimen, Dr. Sinclair incorporates a carefully selected array of supplements that play a pivotal role in his anti-aging strategy. It's important to note that while Dr. Sinclair shares his personal regimen, 
Nutrition. He doesn't endorse specific brands or products, emphasizing that these choices should be tailored to individual health needs and under professional guidance. First on his list is resveratrol, a compound famously found in red wine. Dr. Sinclair doesn't just enjoy a glass of wine for leisure. He takes resveratrol in concentrated form every morning, mixed into yogurt. Why resveratrol? It's known for activating sirtuins, the same family of proteins associated with longevity and cellular function that are engaged through his diet and fasting practices. Next, NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, a form of vitamin B3. NMN is a precursor to NAD+, a molecule essential for energy metabolism and sirtuin function. As we age, NAD levels naturally decline, which can lead to cellular dysfunction and signs of aging. By supplementing with NMN, Dr. Sinclair aims to maintain higher NAD levels, akin to those found in youth, thereby supporting his cell's health and vitality. The third supplement in Dr. Sinclair's arsenal is metformin, a medication typically used to treat treat type 2 diabetes. Despite not having diabetes, he takes metformin for its potential anti-aging benefits. Research suggests that metformin not only helps regulate blood sugar levels, but may also reduce the risk of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and frailty in aging populations. But Dr. Sinclair's approach to longevity doesn't stop at supplements and diet. It also involves a meticulous selection of foods to avoid. Dr. Sinclair's approach to longevity isn't just about what he adds to his diet and lifestyle, but also what he chooses to leave out. Avoiding certain foods can be just as crucial as the nutrients you choose to consume when it comes to anti-aging. At the top of the list is sugar, particularly refined sugars like glucose and fructose. Dr. Sinclair warns against the dangers of high sugar consumption, which not only accelerates aging, but also feeds diseases such as cancer. By reducing sugar intake, he aims to prevent the glycation of proteins in the body, a process that can lead to inflammation and cellular damage. Next, he significantly cuts down on carbohydrates, especially those found in bread and other processed grains. Dr. Sinclair found that reducing his carb intake helped stabilize his blood sugar levels, reducing spikes and crashes that can lead to energy dips and increased hunger throughout the day. This steady energy supports both his mental clarity and physical endurance. Meat is another food that Dr. Sinclair has largely removed from his diet. While he acknowledges the taste and traditional appeal of meat, he points to the scientific evidence suggesting that plant-based proteins are more beneficial for longevity. Plant proteins provide a more favorable balance of amino acids and are less likely to promote inflammation. Dairy products have also been phased out from his daily intake. Even without lactose intolerance, Dr. Sinclair noted improvements in his health markers when he eliminated dairy. This decision aligns with his focus on reducing animal-derived fats, which can trigger pathways in the body associated with aging. Finally, Dr. Sinclair minimizes alcohol consumption. While moderate amounts of certain alcohols, like red wine, can be beneficial due to compounds like resveratrol, the overall impact of alcohol on the body can be detrimental if consumed in large quantities. For Dr. Sinclair, the potential risks outweigh the benefits. By steering clear of these foods, Dr. Sinclair not only supports his body's natural anti-aging mechanisms, but also reduces the risk of many chronic diseases associated with poor diet and aging. What steps will you take towards a longer, healthier life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and here's to your health and longevity.